All right, now we're going to look at uh, reading graphs to, to determine where they are increasing, decreasing, and constant. So let's start by looking at our looking at a particular graph here. And the first thing we should be able to determine right away is if this graph uh, is indeed the graph of a function. Uh, and it is because it passes the vertical line test. Everybody can see that. Um, so the next question is we've got all these things just by looking at the graph that we can determine. Alright, let's start with domain. So the domain for this graph, remember domain goes with what x values are being used to generate a point on your graph. Well, no matter where you take an x value, it's got a corresponding y value uh, to give you a point on your graph because this arrow means that this graph continues going on forever in this direction and this arrow means that the graph is continuing to go off forever in this direction. So every single x value is being used for the domain. So all real numbers, negative infinity to infinity. For the range, we say, all right, well, this arrow here goes down forever, so all the y values down towards negative infinity um, are being used. Um, but then going up for the y values, 5 is the largest y value that's being used. There's no y value greater than 5 that is being used to generate a point on your graph. So the range would be all real numbers between negative infinity and 5. And is 5 included? Yes it is, so we put a bracket. So there's the domain and the range. I'm just looking at this at this particular function here. But now, the stuff we really want to talk about today is increasing, decreasing, and constant. These are the new concepts. Now remember, you read a graph from left to right. And so if the graph is going up from left to right, then your graph is increasing. If your graph is going down from left to right, then it is decreasing. And if your graph is flat, so to speak, uh, then uh, it's called constant. So to determine uh, where the graph is increasing, decreasing, and constant, what we're looking for over here are intervals along the x-axis that say, all right, from here on the x-axis to here on the x-axis, the graph is increasing. Okay, so no y values are going to be over here in these three situations. All right, so let's look at increasing first. Remember, 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 we read graphs from left to right. So as we come at this graph from the left side here, the graph's going up. Everybody see that? I know this arrow's pointing in this direction, but as we read it from the left, we say, all right, the graph's going up. And as we keep coming here from the left, the graph's going up until we reach what x value? Negative 3. Once we reach negative, negative 3 for the x value, your graph has stopped going up. So from negative infinity until we get to negative 3 on the x-axis, our graph is increasing. So we'd come over here and we'd say, all right, negative infinity to negative 3. And it's neither increasing nor decreasing at negative 3, so we'll just leave it as a parenthesis. All right, so then we say, all right, where else are we increasing? Well, it looks like from 1... We're down here, uh, when x is 1, we're down here at negative 5. From 1 until we get to 3, our graph is going up from left to right. Can everybody see that? When x is 1, uh, we're down here, and as we move to the, to the right here, your graph goes up until we get to x equals 3. So we put the little u symbol for union, and it's from 1 to 3. So these two intervals right here, along the x-axis is where our graph is increasing, going up from left to right. Notice we did not put any y values. That's the most common error is to go from uh, negative 5 to 5 for increasing. No, those are the y values. We're going from what x value to what x value is our graph going up. All right, All right so decreasing. Where's our graph going down from left to right? Well, from negative 3 until we get to 1, our graph is going down. So we'd say negative 3 to 1. That's the only place where the graph is going down. And then constant is, where does our graph stay flat, neither go up nor go down? And that's from here on. And it's not at 5, it's what x value? When x is 3 onward to infinity, your graph is constant. So we would say 3 to infinity. 
Again, the most common error is to put y values on these increasing, decreasing, and constant um, intervals, but it's what from what x value to what x value. This interval here is our graph increasing, decreasing, or constant. If you keep that straight, then you're going to be in good shape. All right, that's it. Study well. Please let me know if you have any questions.